Okay, so in order to actually get the keyboard symbols to work on an iPhone or an iPad, you have to first enable the emoji keyboard. So you go to settings, and then you go to general, and then you go scroll down to keyboard, and then I have three keyboards because I've already done it, but you tap on keyboards, and if you don't see emoji in there already enabled, you tap on add new keyboard, and you'll see it in this list and just tap on it. Well, what will happen then is when I go to compose a new email, you'll see on the bottom here that there's that little globe, and if I tap on the globe, it actually shows a bunch of symbols like that. And if you go over to, there's a symbol kind of folder. Uh, it is over objects and symbols. Of course, you can have fun and do all this other stuff. I don't know why the actual business stuff isn't on the first page, but it's not. So you keep scrolling over, over until you get it. So there you see those. And let's say you want to use the R all the time. I'm going to tap in here. I would actually copy it by highlighting it, select, copy, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next, okay? So I'm going to go into, again, settings, and we've are, we're in the actually same place I want to be. I want to go into shortcuts, and I've already done this, but I'll show you. Again, I tap. I want to use this all the time, so all I do is now paste that in there. There's the symbol, and call it something that you don't normally call it, like I put RT for registered trademark. And I'll show you now, so I would type RT and then save. And then I'm going to show you if I'm actually in an email, I'll delete this one and I type RT. There you go. So that's a fast way to do it on an iPhone or an iPad.